Um, cool, so I'm sure you guys are really excited to be talking about A-B testing and data at this time. Oh, there you go. There we go. Uh, just do some quick intros. Uh, oh, there you go. That's working. Um, that's me. That's my Twitter. That's my blog. That's some of the stuff I really enjoy, particularly like that stuff. Uh, oh, it's really slow. Sorry, guys. Uh, analytics is my thing, and I enjoy it, and I like making money for people using it. Uh, that's where I work. We do lots of stuff there. Anyway, let's crack on with the stuff. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you why testing is cool, and I'm sure you guys can read how people uh, test at the moment, why Magento 2 way of A-B testing is super delicious. I don't know why I chose super delicious. I think I was maybe thinking A-B tasting or something. Anyway, um, how do you do A-B testing in Magento 2? And I want to help you by making sure you don't have to go through the pain and stress that I went through in trying to use this awesome and completely undocumented feature. Well, mostly undocumented. So by the end of this, you guys will be able to go out and test. So why, who does A-B testing over here? Hands up. Wow. How many people's customers do A-B testing? Yeah, that's the problem. I think that's why these guys are doing it. A-B testing is amazing. Everyone tests their code. Well, hopefully it's testing their code. Everyone has QA and testers to help them test their code. But not a lot of people like testing the results. Doesn't really make sense to me, you know, because if you're building these amazing features, you want to know if they're going to work before you actually deliver them. So this is why it's important. Web development's a little bit like, who remembers the Forrest Gump movie? I call it the Forrest Gump you know, book of development. Life's like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get. Could be amazing. Could be no one uses it. Could take the server down. Who knows? Um, so hopefully, we're going to try and move on. Reason that A-B testing is amazing, for me anyway, is you know what you're going to get. If you give an, enough people, if you send 50% of your people to variation A, or you send 50% of your, of your people to variation B, you know immediately which one is going to make more money. Easy. You don't have to sit there and say, well, I think the colors are a really nice color, and I think it's much more customers are going to like it, and it's really on brand. You know the numbers before you release it. All you have to do is just pick the winner, up it is, and then off you go to the next feature. Let's make more money with all the money we're getting from this better feature. Really simple. Everyone works in silos. Really sad to say, even in Magento world, everyone still uses silos. It's horrible. No one talks to each other. It's terrible. And as soon as you start doing A-B testing, a test can come from anywhere. It can come from your content editors. It can come from creative. Anyone could say, I think I've got a really good idea. And great, you say, good, let's test it and see what we do. And then they can get the kudos and help make more money. Anyone read Eric Ries, Lean Startup? No? Amazing book. After this, seriously, don't go watch Star Wars. Go read that book. It's phenomenal. Um, the only way to win is to learn faster than anyone else. And whether you guys like it or not, you're all in the learning game. The more you learn, the better you do. And this is an example. I won't go about the red and the things, but essentially, the more you test, the more DOSH you're going to make for your customers and maybe for yourselves as well. This is how people use it at the moment. Anyone use Optimizely? Few, nice tool, AB Tasty. I found that one, it's actually really awesome. You should, you should have a look at it, get a demo of them. Visual Web Optimizer, few. Monetate, <coughs> oh, few. Uh, this, is, this is the new Google Analytics thing. Anyone using that? Oh, wow, check that, awesome. Uh, and finally, we've actually got probably, in my opinion, the best of the bunch is now available in Magento. Hands down, and I'll explain to you the reasons why. Um, first of all, let me tell you what it uses. Google Analytics experiments. Uh, anyone know where it is? Anyone going to Google Analytics? It's there. It's one of the reports. Literally, bump, you're there. Same, same report that you guys use all the time. So the reason that it's so cool is that, you know, we're busy talking about A, B testing. So one, two. Well, with Google Analytics experiments, you can do A, B, C, D, all the way up to 10 which is case. You can do AK testing. Literally, you can choose the best one. And now people say, but that can't be right. How can testing 10 different versions of a page be as awesome and easy as just testing two? Well, I won't go into the details. I've read a lot of the manual and the Google Analytics documentation, and it's horrible. 
Seriously, if you want to go to sleep, read that. It's fantastic for that. Um, but essentially, it uses something called the multi-arm bandit. Um, all you have to know is that it proves that it's actually less, waste, less wasteful to test more variations, more efficient, and you learn faster. Remember that Eric Ries thing that I talked about before? The faster you guys get, the more money you make, the better you, get, you, you do. And that's essentially what this tool does, and it's free. You know, where's, where's the sort of challenge? The last thing is with some of the A-B testing tools, the guys over there like Monotator, et cetera, it's really hard to get rid of the flicker. Because what it does is it starts loading the page, and then it says, oh, I'm going to give you this test. And then literally you get that whole next page. So you get this really horrible flicker experience unless you know what you're doing. With the Magento tool, no flash. It looks, they literally will serve the right image for the right page for you straight away. And you'll see how flexible it is. So let's A, B, N, hopefully up to 10. Uh, test on Magento. So when I, when I found the, the link, and it's, unfortunately it's only an enterprise feature at the moment, but for those of you guys who are very enterprising, you could look at how they've done it, and it's not that hard to potentially do on some of the, on some of the community editions. I, I'm sure there's going to be some implementations that will come off the back of it. So I thought, okay, I'm going to start. I'll read the manual. That's the best way to find out the solution, isn't it? Yeah? Isn't this easy? Look. Do a search on the user guide, bosh, we've got results, job done. So this is the instructions. So I, I, I forgot the menu option, but anyway, you go into your configuration, you go into your sales, you click on Google API, and you tick the box that says enable content experiments. That's it. Isn't that easy? The problem is, okay, so there you go, got a nice little page for you. You can see that little thing that says content experiments, bosh, hit save, and you're done. Um, now, that's kind of where the documentation ends. <laughs> so I'm like thinking, but hold on, they, they, they've only like, told me half the story. I don't know how it ends. You know, how, how do I choose my variants? How do I do my other versions? You know, do I use versions? What, what, how, how, what, go, how, you guys can't leave me standing here. So I thought, well, how can we do it? Yeah? Anyone tried Magento support? Yes. They are going to solve my problem. I don't need to worry. Job done. So emailed them, and there you go, lovely cat. And they gave me exactly what I saw in the instructions. I was like, great, and any more guys? You know, thanks, you know. And actually, they gave me something which is really useful. You can configure this functionality in the products and CMS pages using the tab product view optimization. Amazing. One problem. There's no product view optimization tag, tab anywhere. Yeah, you know what I mean. Exactly. It's not there. So I was, a, I, was a, I was a sad cat. So that's the thing. So, you know, what, what else could I do? I had to do this presentation. I agreed in advance that I said it's undocumented, but I'll give it a go. What do you do if it's not there? You say, email support, please, guys. Can you at least tell me when you're going to have the documentation up? Maybe it'll be up next week, and I can just read it and then say, hey, guys, this is how you do the testing. Uh, this is the response. We don't have any documentation. We do not have an ETA for the documentation, but it was actually a very nice email. I know it doesn't sound like it over there, but it was, she was actually really lovely. Uh, so by this point, I'm like, OK, I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to dig into the code. And let's see how we can do. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. Maybe we can kind of reverse engineer. Maybe there's other stuff in there. Who knows? Maybe there's a readme file. <laughs> how many of you guys are excited when you hear us see a readme file inside? Have you guys read the readme files? Oh, it's poetic. It's beautiful. I thoroughly reckon we should have a poetry reciting at the next Magento meetup where we read from the README. But personally, when I'm reading from the README, uh, this is essentially it. Don't worry about reading it, but it's, it, it's, I, uh, you can use different accents. I prefer to use Yoda. <laughs> Magento Google Optimizer module implements the functionality of Google Experiment tool that is part of the Google Analytics functionality. <laughs> Done. That's it. I won't go through the rest of it, but it is equally poetic and beautiful. And I've actually just shared an updated readme for them after this as well. So hopefully they'll kind of say, yeah, they'll use that. Um, yeah, this is a good one as well. 
So this is, this is the bit that I thought, oh, hold on, this is new information. This allows you to save different codes for products, categories, on different store views. That's it, guys. We've cracked it. We need to create new store views in order to do tests. Somehow the magic that's in Google Analytics experiments will tell me which store view, and there you go. All I have to do is just create a new thing. And I was sitting there going, that's really horrible. It's a lot of work to create new store views every time I want to test. This is rubbish. Anyway, needless to say, it didn't work. It was a lot of hours. It was horrible. I was sitting there going, it must work. It's in the readme. It didn't. So several, and I mean several hours and attempts and bashing. I even got a couple of the guys on the session, on session developers said, listen, guys, you must be able to work it out. And eventually, I sat there. And doing, when, I, doing, when I was showing it to one of the guys in marketing, it suddenly started working. And I was like, oh my god, I think it started working. And I got a 404 page, which is like an error. But I noticed that there was something different about the URL. It wasn't the URL that I gave originally. I was like, oh my god, I'm there. So I'm proud to say, after this pain, that I'm actually ready to do a demo of how to use Magento A-B testing with the awesome Google Analytics right here this evening. Pretty much. So, just to warn you in advance, I'm going to show screenshots of Google Analytics. It's the worst thing you could ever show to an audience. It's horrible. What I'll do is I'm going to make them available afterwards via a link. I've tried to do my best to document them as much as I can in there. So you literally just have to go, yes, 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 yes. Um, internet connection is a bit dicey. Otherwise, I would have actually done it on there. But the one thing I can show you is the results on, on, my, on my local machine. So I'll do it this way. Let's, let's, I'll try and make it easy. Remember that Google Analytics report? You push, you go into experiments. This is the only thing you guys need to worry about. Once you sorted this, the rest of it is absolutely easy. It says, do you want to create a new experiment? You go, yeah, yes, please. You create a nice name. This is our category page experiment. We want to make the most amazing category page. Um, and what you can do is, this is the most awesome thing I've ever seen. You can optimize for any Google Analytic metric you can think of or create. So you can optimize for add to basket. You can optimize for bounce rate. You can optimize for pretty much anything you want. And because Google Analytics lets you do amazing stuff, you can do it, make it do anything. It's incredible. So I won't go into the details. It gives you three. It gives you bounces, page views, and one other one. Um, I just did some page views. And of course, you can say, well, listen, how confident am I about this test? How much traffic do I want to send to it? And you can actually specify from 25 all the way up to 100%. Um, so you could say, how many people do I want to try out these things? Obviously, as you know with testing, the more you, people you throw at it, the much more likely your results are going to be a little more accurate. And thanks to that multi-arm bandit, it's going to be a lot quicker as well. Uh, email notification, you can switch that on and off. Once you've got that, it's pretty much plain sailing. All you need to do is just put in, these are the URLs I'm going to test. And all you have to do, is what, this is the bit that, that uh, is not in the documentation, but hopefully will be after I, I've sent it to them, um, is you just add a number for every variant. So this is my original page. And then I take the same URL, I paste it into here, and I just add the number 1. So that's for variant 1. For variant 2, I add the number 2. For variant 3, I add the number 3. For variant 4, I add the number 4, all the way up to 10. And that is really how simple they've made it. And the other thing that's really important is clear your cache over and over again. It's the cache thing. As soon as you've done that, all the magic is taken care of you as soon as you connect it up. So there's the documentation. It gives you this lovely piece of code. For those of you guys who have a different data team to your development team, you should definitely get your data team and development team working together. You can send the code to the webmaster. Do anyone, st anyone still use the word webmaster? <laughs> anyway. Webmaster. webmaster. Um, and otherwise, you just copy this little snippet in. And what Magenta doesn't tell you is just paste it directly in the original file. So I'm going to use the example of customer service. I want to create the most kick-ass customer service page that people that love my business. So put in the URLs, and I'm taking this page, and I'm going to paste it in here. So as soon as you clear your caches, suddenly things start appearing. You can see there's category view optimization over here. 
So I've selected my hoodies and sweatshirts, pasted it into there. And then this is the bit that you shouldn't forget. Start your engines. You need to make sure you hit start experiment because it'll only start once that's already been active. Cool. So this is one of the tests I did. It's actually really cool. Threw 25% of my users at a test. And I actually got loads of people to test different pages. And it was suddenly really interesting. I started seeing results that I didn't see otherwise. And the guys didn't actually notice that they were part of it like an experiment. But it gave me interesting data. And it shows that people are willing to engage. And people are willing to try out new stuff. So this is where you add it to your product pages. So advanced settings, product view optimization. Just paste your code in there. Category pages, showed you already. And CMS pages. So you can pretty much test in Magento 2 right now. You can go do it tonight if you'd like to. Um, and literally test any CMS page, any product page, any category page. What you test, I really recommend you start doing some awesome stuff around, uh, around some analytics because that tells you exactly what you should be looking at. But when it comes to actually executing it, you've got a phenomenal, amazing, really powerful, and completely free solution right there at your doorstep. Can't be beaten, done and dusted. The way that you know that it's working, and this is something that I found really interesting, is that's my local development environment. It's now redirected my customer service page to customer service two, and it's added a whole load of gunk afterwards, which says what the, what the idea is. If you see that, you're winning. You're on your path to making more dosh for the customer. So just quickly, what I learned, you guys can read it, a world-class A-B testing tool, 100%. There's absolutely no reason why you can't go make tons of money for your customers right now or for yourselves right now. It's there. You know, go out there. Learn more about your customers. Try out new stuff. It's completely safe, and it works really well, and it's fast. Main thing we're here is to make sure that we will create amazing shopping experiences. That's why we're here every single day is to do awesome, amazing things. And most importantly, I hope the biggest thing that you take away from tonight is that you guys don't go slow, but go as fast as you can. And back to our Forrest Gump. From that day on, everywhere he went, he was running. And there's no reason why you guys can't do too. Thanks very much. Two minutes over.